Hey guys, for art today, we're going to be making paper mache bowls. So what it is, is a bowl made out of paper that when it dries, we're going to paint them and then we're going to use them to hold our little trinkets in. We can put our stuffies in or our Lego pieces or any little treasures that you have. So to start with this activity, you need only three ingredients. You need flour. So Miss Herman has this flour here. It's whole wheat flour. You can use regular white flour as well. You need water to mix with the flour and you need saran wrap, which is plastic wrap that you put over bowls to cover your bowls. So to start, you're gonna mix one cup of flour with two cups of water. And you need a paste that looks like this. It's gotta be pretty runny because you're gonna dip your newspaper into it. So after I have that, I took some newspapers and I cut them into pieces so they look like little shreds like this so that you can dip in and you can put them on your bowl. And then I took a bowl, Kayla and I are here with me. They each have a bowl and I've wrapped their bowl in saran wrap so that the newspaper can stick to it. So, so to start with your bowl, you're going to take your newspaper like this and you're going to dip it into the mixture so that it becomes runny like this. And then all you're going to do is take that and you're going to layer it on your bowl and push it down. So you're gonna cover your entire bowl. So I've already started my first layer. So I'm going to continue with this. Spread it on. It's really messy, but it's fun. Do your last layer. So Miss Herman's already started this, so it wasn't too too much time. And then your whole bowl is going to be covered, so that it looks like this. So I've put my paper with my flour glue all around it. Now, when you do this, you need five layers. So the one that I just did was just the first layer. So then, after the whole layer is covered, after the whole bowl is cover covered, now I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna do four more layers of paper onto my bowl. So we're gonna show you how to do that now. finished putting all of our pieces of paper on and this is what our finished products look like. So this one's mine and this one's Isla's and this one's Kaylin's. So we've gotten all our five layers on and we've made sure that's not too too wet and I've pad down all the areas. So if you see any areas that are sticking up just make sure they're nice and smooth and then you're going to leave this now for 24 hours. So leave it to dry overnight and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it to paint it in the morning. Hey guys, so our bowls are now dry. It did take longer than I thought. It took about three days for the bowls to dry, but we had really thick flour glue. So depending on how thin you put the glue on, depends on how long it'll take to dry. So this is what they look like. They're pretty hard. This one I didn't cut yet. So this is the one, and if it has some rough edges on here, just take your scissors, cut around those edges, and then it'll be done. So now we're gonna paint them, and to paint them, you just need some different paint colors. I just bought this at the dollar store. It's just cheap paint. You need some paint brushes. And I have a blow dryer, so I'm gonna help speed up the drying process so we can add lots of detail to our, to our bowls. Okay, so we're gonna do that now.
And there you go, guys. I finished my bowl. Super cute. It's dry now. And now I can put all my trinkets in it. Okay, hope you guys like this craft. It's super easy to do. And it's something fun that you can do with your whole family. Okay, take care, guys. Bye. Bye.